All right. So categorical displays, categorical summaries. Kind of all I can really say about that one for now. All right. And then we get into quantitative summaries, quantitative data. Now, we spoke earlier about some of the things that we're interested in when looking at quantitative data. Uh, some of the things we talked about with quantitative we talked about what's called the average. Talked about the range. There's some other words. Which are there. What else was there? What was it? Range of data. Um. Okay. So in that case, uh, sort of patterns along the lines. Very good. Um. Each of these sort of has a important role in quantitative summaries, and. In particular, the first one here, the average one, this is a word that a lot of people use in talking about summaries of quantitative data. And unfortunately, a lot of people don't really have a, a good understanding of what the average is. Now, you probably going to look at me and go, well, the stupid guy, the average is what you give me out of all the values and divide by the total number, right? <laughs> That's what you talk about when you say the average. Okay, so most people think of that as the average. That's actually one way of talking about the average. That's what's called the mean of the data. The mean is sum up all values, divide by number of values. There are other ways of talking about the average. There's one called the median. So you may say, okay, with the median, that sounds like something that I miss when I drive down the road. Hopefully you miss it when you're driving down the road. Um, but that's, you know, the, the median is an important way of describing sort of the quote unquote average of a collection of data. But it describes it in a slightly different way. The median is the center of the data values when listed in order. It gives us a different interpretation of the quote unquote average. There are some other averages that we can talk about. These are two of the primary ones that we're going to deal with in this class. When we talk about quantitative data, we want to measure the mean. We want, to use, we want to measure the median, and collectively, instead of calling things the average, we're going to call them the centers of our data. So when we talk about the word center of our data, we're talking about either the mean or the median. We're talking about how do I describe sort of the middle part of my data? What is the center of my data? Uh, the next thing after range. Range is another term that is often used in statistics, um, and outside of statistics even. When we talk about the range, typically what we're referring to is what is the smallest value, what is the largest value, and what's the difference between them. Okay? That's actually measuring a specific aspect of our data. It's actually measuring what's called the spread. How spread out is our data? Is our smallest and our largest value very far apart, so our data is very spread out? Or are they relatively close? within a couple of units of each other. Okay. So the range represents one of a couple of different ways that we can measure the spread of our data. There are several others that we'll talk about, uh, but understanding how spread out our data is is an important aspect of utilizing it. We have to know information about how spread out our data is. And each of the different measures of spread tells us something different about the data. Okay. And then finally, we talk here a little bit about patterns. Um, when we're talking about patterns in data, you 
know, there's lots of different things that we could mean there. And one of the things that we're going to utilize to identify patterns is we're going to utilize our frequency tables and we're going to utilize our graphical summaries, which we'll talk a little bit more about next time. We'll look and see how can I display quantitative data with graphs? What, can, what do those graphs tell me about the data that I'm working on? Right. All right, that's all for today. Have a good one.